Okay. Hi guys. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some of the Pip-Boy materials today. Um, basically, I just want to give you guys a quick overview of what goes where, how it's put together, and, you know, how to use it. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this will be pretty stable. Sorry if it's terribly shaky. Um, this is basically everything that's a part of the actual Pip-Boy construction. Um, first, over here, you've got the pauldron. This is the underside of it right here. You've got the sleeve that your arm goes into to hold it on, all the different straps. Now, this was a belt that I had when I was 14 and I found lying in the bottom of a closet. So it's kind of just pieced together from anything I had lying around. Uh, you've got the actual Pip-Boy itself, of course, and in here you've got the little computer made out of the Raspberry Pi B+. This isn't the cable I'll be using, but USB cable to use for power and the battery unit that I'll be using with plugs on the uh, long side rather than over here. What happens with that is we take this and there's actually a pocket built in right there that this just sort of slides into, which is a little hard to do one-handed, sorry. And that's literally just going to sit right on top of your shoulder, just, you know, hanging out in there. Um, the power goes out through the other side there and is going to come out through the little slit that I've built into there. That's where you plug in the USB cable. That'll just get plugged in there, about like that. It'll run down the arm and get plugged into that. Well, into that, which will be in there. So it'll be like that. Um, I'm gonna try to design it so that everything gets kind of hidden and you won't see the cable because that just wouldn't be fun. Um, so that'll go in there. You know the story with that. And then you've got the van braces that I made, which are really simple. Um, anyway, so, very simple design, just license plate, cut in half, nice squishy padding foam, and the leather straps with the D-rings. I'm telling you, I don't know why it's, it's such a complicated thing to know what a D-ring is, but that's what they are. If somebody ever says, what's a D-ring, tell them it's that. It's a ring shaped like a D. Pretty simple. So, um, those can be used as either um, a lower arm band brace or you can put them on your upper arm instead. Um, I made the straps really adjustable in size so that I could do that. So, pretty, pretty basic get up. Uh, I'm probably going to keep adding to the... Um, I guess you'd call it randomness of the design. I don't want it to be, you know, something specific. Sorry, the lens cover keeps dropping in front of the screen. Um, or, you know what I mean. So yeah, I just built this out of whatever parts I could find. I've got a thrift shop belt that I chopped up into numerous pieces. This is all held together with leather and a couple of bolts and some wing nuts. So, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to turn this off again and show you what it's like to put this crazy thing on. So, hold on. Okay, so I took the battery out for now just to uh, make my life a little bit easier. Also, I can then show you that it's not hard to put the battery in or out of its spot um, while you're actually wearing the thing. So, you've got the sleeve, which really isn't held on by very much. This is literally just hot glue. Um, I found 
it's easier to put the belt on first. Easiest way to tell how to do this is you go like that. Oh, oh okay. Belt goes on this way. Hang it down. And just, you know, put the belt on. The only problem I have with this belt is that it's a bit too worn, so it's a little bit hard to put the thing together sometimes. Uh, these just hang down over there. Nothing dramatic. Adjust everything around, and uh, yeah, it's on. Real easy. Now, if you want it a little more that way, you can kind of loosen that up a bit, and it'll hang more that way. It also allows it to go down more off your shoulder, though, so I might change that design a little bit. Um, in the back, it's literally just a strap. Um, I might reinforce it with another going straight down because this is starting to um, to pull up. It's not laying flat. I'm a little concerned about that. But very easy. So then so the easiest way to get the battery in is to just undo the front strap. Take the thing. Make sure you put it the right way up. Um, I'm putting it in so that the USB cable can go down and out, and the power button is on the soft side, so I can just reach in and turn the thing off if I need to. Okay. So, it's not super, super easy to get it in there, but it doesn't exactly take very long either. There you go. Battery's in place. Um, I might put in another layer of padding between the battery and my shoulder. It's not super comfy yet, but... This might also get wrapped around to make more of a sleeve than just a dangly thing, because I'm finding it starts to get in the way and it will probably cover that up. So I might do some really lazy stuff. Sorry, really easy to get interrupted here. Um, so battery in place, USB cable, easy to get to. This is just, it's not tied onto my arm there. You so can just lift this up. You can hold that all out of the way like that if you want. Slide between the uh, foam and this little pocket. Find where the uh, plug goes, which is, I promise, not nearly as hard as you're going to think it is. There, done. It's plugged in. See how easy that is? So, um, beyond that, uh, basically what I'm going to do is around here on a USB cable. I'm going to put a breakaway point so that it'll easily break the connection if, say, something gets pulled on, because um, you don't want to have the whole thing get torn apart just because somebody pulls on your pit boy and drags you over yonder or whatever. Um, so I'll be using a magnetic USB breakaway point there. Then all you'll have to do is plug in to the uh, pit boy somewhere over here. When there's actually a pit boy computer in there, put the thing on. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm not going to actually 
leave this on because I don't have a closure on it right now. But um, yeah, so it'll look about like so, which uh, I'm having fun with, you know. So, the only other thing is these guys. Um, I wanted to make it so that I could use these either with or without the Pip-Boy, um, since this doesn't need to have the battery in it, it doesn't need to be attached to the Pip-Boy at all. Um, so I could either put this one on this arm, As you can see, it does not take a lot of time. You know, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but for what it is, it's pretty easy to build. There, put it on. And build. Easy to build, too. These tie down to whatever size you like. So there's one. Forgetting where I'm putting things. Put the other one on. Super easy. The strap is a little bit shorter, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm sitting here doing this by myself, so it's obviously not that hard to get them on. Can I have another car go by? It's funny, you get the strangest looks when you're putting on armor in a garage. Forgot one other thing I can show you guys is that um, these can also be used um, on your upper arm, like I was saying earlier. Easy way to take them off. Okay, so. If, say, I've got the Pip Boy on this arm and I want to use both license plates, it's a little bit harder because the straps are on the opposite side, but what I could do is put this on over here. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit more difficult to put them on up there. You know, it might be a little bit more difficult of a design for uh, the strap length for some people, but I have really tiny arms that are basically the same size, both top and bottom, half. So, cinch them down. It's not uncomfortable. You know, it's just soft leather, the straps, I mean, so. There you have it. You know, do this side. Then you've got armor on both sides. If you're going for a more heavy armor look. And there you go. Casually leave that like that. It's not held on, I'm holding it with my arm. So, yeah, really easy. You, know, you can wear whatever you want under it. Um, it's lightweight. It's not uncomfortable to wear. Really easy. Just takes time to build it. So hopefully um, this was helpful to you guys. And I'll see you more soon. Okay, so I'm walking back to my apartment now from the garage down the road that we rent. And uh, it's kind of funny. I've been getting 
a lot of questions as people go by asking what's with the license plates so it's uh it's kind of entertaining um i don't know people think i'm crazy but um i guess it could be worse